Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We're over here in the um, south shore of Maui, over at Wailea. Beautiful day. It's around 9.30 in the morning. And we're gonna be testing the Gladius today in the salt water. I got my son over here, Kian. <laughs> He's gonna be basically like an escort because I'm gonna do a range test on this guy. And I'm gonna see just how far it can go out kind of towards those boats out there, maybe a little to the right. And he's just gonna follow the buoy. And since this thing is wireless between the controller and the buoy, and then it's got 100 meters of tether and supposedly 100 meters of wireless range, we're just gonna test that. And when we get out there around where the range limit is, even if we reach it, um, I'm just gonna try to go down and see how deep we can get. I'm not sure how deep it's gonna be out there, but we'll definitely test it. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually gonna be putting on this GoPro uh, blue water filter. It's a red filter for a GoPro 5. I was able to just kind of makeshift mount it right on the front here so we have good color correction for this blue water and we're gonna see how that does. Cool, so oh, he's also gonna have the little GoPro session with him on the board. So maybe he'll be filming a little bit, um, possibly dipping it underwater and showing the drone when, I, when we kind of stop. And then also from the surface, just seeing how the buoy kind of travels through the water. So this is gonna be fun. Stay tuned and let's get started. Watch out for the lana. I'm gonna throw the board right out there, so just go out there and swim out to the board, okay? Got it? All right. Okay, so Keen's gonna wait over there for a minute. <laughs> and while I get this thing prepped up, I guess I'm gonna throw this thing in the water already before I even boot it up. So taking it off the buoy here. I mean, the, whoops. Whoa. Okay, that was strange. Looks like the whole bottom was kind of unglued. Oh no. All right, so a little flaw there. You see how that came unglued? This is supposed to be the very bottom of the buoy. So that's not good if it's coming unglued there, so. Already a little con make sure this thing's gonna stay on. So so that's not really gonna work then, keeping it raveled up. Maybe I'll just push it on and hope it stays on. Is really it gonna stay on? No, that's gonna fall off in the water. So I'm gonna have to leave this thing off. That's too bad, man. They need to use some better glue for that. Okay. Anyway, it is what it is. So, I'm gonna have to let Kian kind of hold this on his board then, so this doesn't completely unravel and get all tangled up. Okay, so I went ahead and gave my son the buoy since the bottom's off. I don't want that to get all tangled up. All right, so it's time to throw this thing in the water and get all connected. I don't wanna throw it too hard or else the, uh, that filter's gonna come off. All right, Whew. ready to go. All right, so he turned it on. Start. There we go, now we're armed, okay. Go for it, dive. Okay, recording 4K. Nice. Now this is the saltwater module here. Look at that. Well, let's go for it. Let's head out. So that is facing away from me. So the compass is a little off because what I should have done, armed it when it was facing away from me. Let's try that again. Let me try to face it directly away. 
and then disarm and arm again. So I'm gonna press start to disarm. That should be facing directly out. Let me rearm. There we go. Okay. Now that's better because it's facing out towards the ocean and that'll give me a good indication it's gonna come back. So let's dive. Okay. Let's just head straight out. See how far we can get. Uh, <laughs> wow, so it's a little bit challenging to steer here. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's pulling the buoy. A little to the left there. Looking good. So again, I'm recording in 4K guys, so we'll see what this looks like. I'm gonna switch into manual. For some reason, stabilized for me is a little tough because there's a little bit of lag in the FPV. You kind of feel the buoy being pulled a little bit. So that's about 100 feet now, guys. Wow, and it's disconnecting. Oh boy. It's getting really choppy and trying to reconnect. Okay, so it's reconnected, but it's super choppy. And it's disarmed. Okay, rearm. So pretty much unsteerable. You can see the chop in the screen and the 4K went ahead and disconnected. And the if dive app <laughs> stopped. Let's open that again. Okay, so we're gonna need some some definite uh, updates here to make this thing work as advertised for as, as far as the range goes. Okay, we're back. Okay, starting again. Armed. Let's dive. Okay, we have a pretty clear, start the 4K recording again. Pretty clear picture. I can feel it getting like yanked by the buoy. You can see it there. On a pitch down and Press forward, whoa. Yeah, it's fully being, I bet you that um, the buoy is like all in knots or something. There's some fish, okay. The tether, because remember the buoy, the bottom of the buoy came off when I was pulling it off of the reel. Well, that was pretty lame. Anyway, uh, that's what we can expect. And I'm getting pulled to the right because probably the buoy is all messed up. Let me turn around and look at the rope. See if we can see what's going on here. I'm gonna turn around and go up. There it is. So there's our line. Let's see what the possibly the problem is. Well, you see that big knot? <laughs> that is the problem. Look at that. Oh my gosh. What a disaster. Horrible. Anyway, that's what it is. Maybe we can pull it loose, get a little deeper here. We'll see how this blue water filter's working. Might have some nice colors now. There's the sand. Kind of going to my left now. Ooh, there we go, that's pretty. Very nice. Now keep in mind that maybe a sunshade would be great for this, because it's a little hard for me. Full throttle, let's try to get this. Oh! brakes see the knot is pulling the craft around it's preventing it from going much very smooth so oh, I wish that didn't happen right now that's a bummer it's a perfect day for this oh there's a humu humu fish let's get him in view here there he is follow him for a sec a little choppy the wireless is chopping out just a little bit there's a goat fish, uh oh. So now I'm losing my connection again. Guess I better keep it a little more this way. Okay, so did I lose connection? What's going on? Disconnected, connecting. 
once I go back in to stabilize if I can. That'll hopefully help it get to the surface if needed. I'm not sure what's up with the video guys. The video froze. The recording stops when it disconnects. Just close the app, reopen the app. My goodness. Are we connected to it? Yeah, it is connected. So I'm just gonna reopen the Gladius app here. Sorry if I find sound kind of stressed out, but it's kind of nerve wracking having a remote device in the ocean. At least my son's out there though. Let's try to reconnect. Oh, there we go. Okay, there he is. <laughs> Let's start. Armed, okay. He's trying to film it a little bit. Oh shoot, I don't want to arm towards me though. So that's the problem is every time you arm it, it resets your compass. So I want to un unarm and I want to face out towards the ocean and then I want to rearm. You see how it reset the rear end, you know, whatever direction you're facing, it'll reset that graphic on the middle bottom. So I'm gonna go back into manual and dive here. Let's see how deep we're going. Okay, this is a little deeper than my first one. That is a kind of a big fish. Check them out. Okay. I'm just gonna kind of get to the bottom, 11 feet only. And I can really feel that. Look at that tether is just totally messing it up. Cause it's in knots. Oh boy. Video froze again. Start the 4K recording again. No valid IP because we're disconnecting. All right, well that's what we can expect. Maybe 100 feet, definitely not 100 meters, which would be over you know, 300 feet. That um, chasing innovation states. Gosh, the initial was supposed to be 500 meters and that seems kind of ridiculous now because it won't even barely go 100 feet. So anyway, what I'm going to try to do, now that we have connection again, is come on back. Now that we know what kind of the limits are, start the 4K recording again. Let's arm it. Let's turn around. Let's try to come back. At least we'll get a little bit of video. There we go. I'm really disappointed that that uh, buoy bottom came off and the tether is all tangled up. It's really too bad. Let's see what's going on over here with these fish. Pretty. I can feel it kind of tugging on the tether again. Look at those, those are some goat fish there, school of goat fish. Beautiful. So definitely, even from the FPV screen, you guys will see the 4K footage on the screen, but even from the FPV, I'm seeing a lot better color with this red filter. It was really just foggy blue on my first video. This is looking really good. Ooh, look at that fish. Looks like a sort of a humo humo trigger fish. Oh, I can feel that buoy tugging on it again because it's all tangled up and we're getting choppy and losing connection. Okay. Check this explore over here a little bit. You can see my son out there, he's just kind of escorting it. He's doing good. Hey, there's our goat fish again. I'm gonna switch it in to stabilize. And you can see how it's just gonna keep it perfectly level. So it'll take out some of the side-to-side -side rock. Then we can kind of pitch it forward just a little. 
And I have my thumb just barely pitched on the stick. And you can see that it'll hold that position. So if you kind of have a static thing you're filming, it might be a good technique there. You see how I'm not really rocking side to side. That's pretty neat. Oh, come on video, don't chop. Okay, it reconnected, it disconnected again. Anyway, let's follow this. Whoa, disarmed. Okay, if it disconnects more than a couple seconds, it disarmed. Disarms, now rearmed. Let's do that again. Let's go right up by this school of goat fish. Beautiful. Go closer down. Let's see what our battery power is. We're at 92% guys and we've been going for a while. So you are gonna have some great battery power, that's for sure. Ooh, what kind of fish is that? Oh, those are still the same goat fish. It feels like maybe the buoy is is getting a little more untangled because I can go deeper and I'm not having that resistance now. So that's cool. Just kind of cruise in underneath the reef here. All right. Wow, here we go. Look at this. Let's see how that 4K video looks on the screen. And what it does is it, when it disconnects, at least it's um, stopping the video and saving it every time you get disconnected. So at least you'll have your video saved, I'm hoping. Okay, let's fly through some of these coral heads here. Look at this, this is just beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is worth it right here. To have a device that's this precise, and you can do this. You know what I want to do is I want to get to a cave and try the lights. Why not? Let's try these lights out. I gotta find a cave first. Let's zoom around in search of a cave. How's that sound? Yeah, I'm in stabilized mode and it seems to actually be doing really good. Oh, I'm feeling the buoy pull on it. You see how it's moving around because of the buoy. Let's see which way we're going now. I think we're coming back. See how the water is getting a little more murky when it's shallow. Let's get back out here. Let's see if we can find a cave. Switch on these lights right in here. Let's just try it. Okay, I'm gonna turn the lights all the way on. Lights are 100%. Whoa. Not really a big cave, but yeah, so I can't really see the difference in that one. Let's try, how about this? Some of the dark spots on the rock. Right there. So with the lights on, whoa, whoa, back up. Yeah, so it can't really penetrate the shadows that well unless you probably have a larger cave so i'm going to power down the lights until we find another one i'm just pressing the left top trigger let's go check out this school again of these goat fish what fun exploration we have going here let's zoom right through them they're just cruising look at this there's a parrot fish swimming by wow fantastic zoom down here a little bit so when it's not disconnecting it's really enjoyable when we don't have any wireless disconnect it's doing very well very impressed oh Louie's pulling on it again how deep are we guys we're 13 feet only and I'm getting some choppiness whoa don't hit the coral with the lens uh, are we gonna disconnect that looks really good. Look at the video on that. Looks like we're kind of disconnecting. Oh, we're back. Okay. Oh, we disarmed. So it does try to reconnect at least. I just had to press start to rearm. 
Wow, and the video kept recording, supposedly. We'll see if it does, if it is. I'm gonna stop recording and just make another clip. You know what I mean? Just so it doesn't like corrupt my clip. So I'm starting 4K again. And then you can also do that, start and stop from the triggers as well. Oh, we're getting pulled around. Okay. I can see I'm going that way and my son's over there. There's a bunch of kayakers coming through. Okay, we're connecting. We're out of connection again, just over 100 feet. Oh, there we go. There's my video back. Okay, restart recording. Okay. I need to try to get it back towards me. I don't know which way I'm going right now. I'll just go by what it, what I see my son doing. Looks like I'm going in the right direction now. See the buoy out there going to my left. That should be good. But yeah, that's really unfortunate that the body, the bottom fell off. So if you guys get this, geez, double check the glue and how secure everything is. All your screws. I had some loose screws. All that stuff because this could ruin your day if you're out there and the bottom falls off your buoy and the whole tether. This is a hundred meter tether, so this is a very long tether and that thing is just in a rat's nest. Again, I know I keep saying that, but it is what it is. We're disconnected. What's going on? Video froze. I better just get it closer. Oh, there's a turtle right there. Right in front of me. I'm trying to get back. This thing reconnects and come in here and check out this turtle. Arm. Oh, what's going on? Arm. Reconnecting. Ah, hurry up. Come on. Reconnect. Maybe if I hold it up higher. There. Okay. Armed. Recording video. Let's come back. I have no idea which direction I'm facing now. Oh boy. Come on. <laughs> well, at least you guys know how this is a distance. I don't know what my son's doing, he just... Oh, there's there's another turtle out there. What am I doing way out here, disconnecting when I should be filming these turtles? Jesus. Okay, rearm. Turn, zoom it back. Full throttle. Alright, I can see the buoy moving that way. So I'm going to turn it with the face towards me now. It seems like it's the right direction. And we're disconnecting again! Jeez. And we're disconnected again. Jeez, so what would suck is if your buoy drifted further out than your connection range and then you have no way of getting this thing back. So they need to work on the range for this thing. Come on. Connect. Oh man, it keeps freaking reconnecting. Pardon my French, but this is getting a little irritating. Trying to reconnect. I'm just kind of full throttle forward now. Trying to get it back towards me. Come up to the surface. There it is. <laughs> it's, is it coming back? Okay, I'm facing right at me. And of course it disarmed because I disconnected. Rearm. Full throttle. Come on, am I going the right way? I think so. I'm just on the surface so I can see it. And it does look like it's going the right direction. I'm looking at the spray from the motors. Man, look at that. I've only got like <laughs> 20 foot depth on the buoy because of that rat's nest. That's so frustrating. Anyway, I'm just zooming back full throttle. Don't want to hit the coral. Let's start recording again in 4K since we're closer. Now the buoy should be within like 75 feet it looks like. 
see if we can find some of these turtles again. Man, I'm tempted to go out on that board and drop it down for some depth, but not today. Plus this controller is not waterproof, so that's definitely a problem. Let's see how the color is on this little, I'm seeing a little uh, starfish here. Where was it? Right there, there we go. See that guy? Oh, by the way, I do have the saltwater module on here. My first test I had this um, fresh water. Okay, feeling the current, whoa. Definitely feeling some current. And I am hoping that the, uh, whoa. I'm hoping that the filter's still on. It does look like a little, it's a little blue. I hope that filter didn't just fall off. Anyway. Let's see. Nice. I'm just gonna cruise really slowly because we have good connection now. Let's just check out the fish, the sea life here. The cool fish there. Let's follow him for a bit. If, if I do find a cave, I'll try to turn on the lights, you know. Beautiful. Well, there's kind of a cave. Definitely don't want to get stuck underneath that cave, but let's try it. I'm going to turn the lights full blast, so I'm holding the right trigger down. Lights going on. Okay, that's full light. And let's just try to shine it in this cave if I can get to the bottom. Just try. Get a little close. Wow, these fish are like interested in this thing. Can we shine into the cave, y'all? Go down. What's in this cave, guys? Very carefully. There we go. So the lights are working. So you can see how it's, you know, in sunlight like this, you're gonna need to get right up against it. I'm gonna turn off the lights now, save some battery power. Not hit the rocks here. Wow, so this saltwater buoyancy module, look at this, I'm off the sticks. And it's just slightly going up, but it's really good at keeping its fairly neutral buoyancy. This is great. Let's cruise over here. This is what this thing's made for, just cruising around. I don't know, I have a feeling that the filter fell off. Like maybe I hit something or it was going too fast. Ooh, check this out. Beautiful down here on the sand. Anything interesting down here? And when you're going down like this, you definitely don't you definitely don't want to go under any caves and hang your tether up. Ooh, pretty. It seems like there should be a turtle somewhere around here, doesn't it? I know they sleep in these caves. Lights on. I'm gonna turn them fully on. There we go, lights are on full blast see what we can see underneath this ridge, underneath this ridge, rather. Don't want to get my tether really hooked up. But this is with the lights on. I'm just very gently... I don't know, can you guys see anything under there? I can't see anything with my um, FPV, but it is pretty cool. A little closer, pitch up just a little bit. Look at that. So we're exploring underwater caves in the ocean. Whoa, getting a little too far under there. Hey, there's Minpachi. That's pretty cool. If it disconnected now, that would suck. Or if the tether got stuck. So I'm gonna try to get out of here. There we go. Whoa, 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 make sure our tether is not hooked up on anything. 
Turning back around. Yeah, it looks like we're clear. Well, that was cool. Okay, so stuff like that's possible because this thing has really good precision as long as it's in range and not disconnecting. You see my son over there still chasing the buoy. Man, I really want to see a turtle. There's some, whoa. There's some cool red, red color there for you. Feels like I'm sitting on the coral now. There we go. How's that? Beautiful. Oh, you know what I forgot to do is take some pictures. So let's stop recording. Hopefully it saves that. Oh, save, please. Good. Okay. And let's put a picture mode. Nice. You can see how it's just sitting there while I'm doing this. It's really good with that saltwater module. Keeping its position. Paste it down. And remember the pictures, I think is the right trigger. So picture. Oh, that was interesting. It did kind of feel like it uh, stopped the controls when I took a picture. Let me see if that happens again. Let's go down here. Oh, these fish. So right around here. Let's do this. Let's do a picture right there. Yeah, so it felt like the controls, it just reset the controls when I did that. So I'm holding the pitch perfectly still, and then I'm going to take a picture. Yep. So it neutrals out when you take a picture, at least in stabilize. So that's something they should be working on. Okay. Continuing on here. Cruising around. Oh, yeah, I need to take some more pictures because we're in picture mode. So how about, oh, is that a fish in there? Holy smokes, let's check that out. Whoa, coral. That looks like a big wrasse fish. Come on, don't disconnect right now. <laughs> that's only not even 100 feet, that's like 75 feet away. Come on. Rearm. There's some kind of fish in there. Let me roll to the left. But that's the cool thing about this one is you can roll, dude. Guys. <laughs> Take another picture of this. Boom. Boom, I still wanna go get that fish. Let's go check that fish out. Although it's like right in the middle of that pocket. So I'm gonna have to go to this direction, spin the head around, face down and let's inspect this right here. I wanna video this actually. So I'm pressing the left bottom trigger, changing the video mode. Oh yeah, so that also leveled it out, my controls. Start video. Sure does look beautiful down here though. Is that fish still in there or did we lose them? Let's roll to the left. Oh! Okay, so it's not like the quadcopter. You're not going to roll and move at the same time. You're just going to roll and roll. I feel like I am hitting the back. I'm hooked up on something. Let's get out of there. I think I was hooked up on the coral. Anyway, in search of fish still. Beautiful. Lights are all the way off. By the way, when it does disconnect, it's, so it stops the video. It also turns the lights off and it disarms, just to let you know. If it disconnects more than like a couple seconds. It does seem pretty good at reconnecting within a couple seconds. Um, pretty quickly if it's close enough. Let's go down here on the bottom and just sit here. This is neat. Let's see how good the um, neutral buoyancy is. I have total pitch off. And I want to keep the camera away from the rocks. Of course it's okay if the sub kind of hits. I'm completely off the sticks and this is neat. It's basically maintaining its depth. We're at 15 feet. It's slowly coming up, just barely. You can see there. 
But overall, it's it's maintaining. Let's go check out these school of goldfish again. Let's try to zoom right through them. Wow. That is awesome. Look at this. Oh, we're getting pulled around by the buoy again. Whoa, what's this? An Anui. That fish right there is an uh, Nanui. I think it's some kind of chub. It's called a chub. More goldfish. I'm full throttle forward and man, that buoy is just tugging on it. You see how I couldn't go straight? Because of that knot. Anyway, we're kind of directly out in front of me now. Boy, so this might be getting boring to you, so I'm probably gonna just kind of bring it in now. And we'll do a little pros and cons on this craft. So let's try to find our way back home. And the only way I can do that really is to see which way my son's swimming <laughs> because, or resurface, let's resurface. Full throttle up and full pitch up. Let's see if it come, breaks out. Boom, there it is. Okay, a broke surface to the left of the buoy over there. I'll turn to the left. So line of sight. It does. See, once that buoy starts to tug on it, it really yanks it around. Okay, there we go. I should kind of be coming straight back at me now. Which way am I going? Okay, there's my son. So face it this way. There he is. <laughs> See if we can face it up towards him. There's the sky. So I'm full pitch back. Turtle, record. Ooh, there's a turtle for you. Thank goodness we found one, guys. Let's just visit with him for a sec. Look at this guy. Don't want to get too close. I want to give him his space. Probably wondering what in the world is that thing. Let's get a little closer. Beautiful. So that's a Hawaiian green sea turtle, guys. If you've, if you've ever seen one before. Or never seen one. Let's just uh, ride with him for a bit. Wow. So I really hope this video is coming out because this is spectacular. Oh, he's turning to face me. What? Look at this. Whoa! I'm not pushing. <laughs> I wasn't pushing forward. He was just checking me out. Where'd he go? Oh, did he leave? Oh, there he is. He's circling me. Let's switch into stabilize, or not stabilize, but manual. I have a little bit more precision. There we go. Unbelievable. So 4K footage still recording. Oh boy, what's happening? Back into stabilize. It's like the buoy is getting hooked up. Is it hooked up on my son or what? <laughs> I don't want to lose this turtle right now. Let's let's chase after him a little bit. Oh man, I hope my son realizes I'm probably snagged on his board or something. He probably has no idea. Anyway, we're just gonna keep trying to follow him. I don't wanna bother him too much, but this is just super awesome. 
Okay, he looks like he's going to the left of me. Whoa, current. Hello, turtle. We're just following you very slowly. This is unbelievable. I'm so glad you guys got to see this during this review. Don't want to get too close again. And the last time he just like turned on me and I wasn't even going forward. There's another fish over there. You know what's cool is these guys go down and they sleep. They'll actually go down and find like a shelf or a ledge and uh, sleep for a couple hours. Just They just wedge themselves underneath there and they sleep. That would be kind of neat to use the lights to kind of like look at them if he goes down. But this just is really amazing. I'm just gonna follow him for a bit. Oh man, I wish that tether cable wasn't all um, in knots. I can feel it tugging. Come on! Give me some stability. I'm pulling him out over there to the left. Okay, he's diving down. Let's see where he, where he goes. You're looking for food or what? This is the turtle chase in 4K. The Gladius underwater rover. Wow, okay, see that? So I was pushing down to fight the buoy and then all of a sudden I let off the throttle and um, my pitch just went straight down. It feels like the current's coming from that direction. Feels like I'm going right into the current. Trying to follow this guy. Whoa. He surfaced. He's turning. Gosh, I wonder if there's, looks like there's some divers around here. Some snorkelers. Oh, he just took a breath of air. Uh-oh. We have a frozen screen. <laughs> I'm reaching my... I'm reaching my... Um, let's rearm. There we go. Okay, it came back into connection there. At least. I'm reaching my range with this thing. This is just beautiful. I could follow this guy all day long. I don't want to go out of line of sight with the buoy or my son because he's, if I wave my arms up, he's going to bring it in. So we're going to say bye to the turtle now because he's going that way around the point. Well, that was pretty awesome. So I'm going to come on back. Let's go ahead and uh, get on back so we don't lose this thing. There it is. Okay, so I'm just on the edge of the reef there. Let's see which direction I'm kind of heading. I think that's about right. Well, you can really feel the wind coming up. Like clockwork, man. Right like at 10.30, the wind just starts to pick up over here. Amazing. Let's get down closer to the bottom and just kind of cruise home. Wow, that's full pitch down and I'm just yanking on that buoy. So again, guys, if this if I wasn't having this tether problem in this rat's nest, it would be a lot smoother when I'm diving down and not having to fight this buoy. But these fish are just beautiful. Just absolutely stunning. Looks like a Himalaya. Himalaya fish. 
little ras. So I'm gonna try to find my way back home. Little goat fish there. You feel it tugging to the right. Let me resurface and see where we're at. Full pitch up, full throttle. <laughs> that was cool. Like breached, did a breach like a whale. Yeah, so I'm, I'm heading directly at me and it looks like the compass is fairly accurate this time so I can kind of follow this until I disarm. Okay. Down here to the bottom where there's less turbulence. And let's come on home. So definitely a task to get back home, guys. Um, so I'd mainly use this, you know, be really careful on lateral expir exploration like this. I would honestly mainly use this for like going down deep dives on your boat or something and leaving the buoy close to you within 50 feet. As you can see, we can't really trust the... Whoa, is that buoy really pulling it that far? That hard? That is crazy, what's going on? Ah. Yeah, just tugging that buoy is really hard for it in its rat nest state. <laughs> okay. All right, well, so really good to have a companion to help you do this. Good job, Ken. Okay, well, I'm gonna bring her in and we'll go through uh, pros and cons. You can see how we're snagged with the buoy <laughs> at like, what's that length? That's gotta be, that's right around 50 feet. See how the Gladius is there and the buoy's tangled up over there, the whole line. We're at about 50 feet. That's too bad. So I'm gonna have to glue that when I get home. Anyway, it's kind of murky over here, so I'm gonna stop recording. And I'm just gonna bring it up right to me. I'm just gonna kind of keep it in its stabilized mode, like right here. Set the controller down on the rocks. Yikes. I hadn't thought about this part of it. <laughs> Maybe reverse in. Oh boy. Okay, right here. And let's try to grab it. Nothing in the pockets. Whoa. Can you kind of push it over, Ken? Push, push, push. Almost. There we go. Thanks, buddy. I may need your help bringing in that buoy, though. We'll just stay out there for a sec, okay? Whew. All right. Filter's still on. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Whew. All right. Let's get this buoy in. Let's bring in the crazy rat's nest. Oh, there we go. Jeez, so what a, what a disappointment on the bottom of that thing coming off. So if that would have stayed for sure, this wouldn't have happened. So with a three, with a 100 meter tether, I was basically limited to probably right around 20 meters or less, actually, because of this. Okay guys, now that we got this uh, Gladius in here, let's go through a pros and cons. Here's the controller and my phone. So I will have had all that kind of recorded on screen for you guys to see how it, it was all going. Um, that turtle was amazing, wasn't it? Anyway, let's go through a little pros and cons with this setup. And we can see a major con right here in front of us is this thing just came unglued. I hadn't even had this, I've only had it in the salt water one time. 
and right when I was pulling it off of the reel in the beginning of the video it just completely separated and that had like a domino effect because look what happened this thing turned into a rat's nest because it didn't have the support of that thing to keep it all wound up so what should happen is when you have that bottom on the gladius will pull out cable and this thing will just spin on the top of the water and let out cable as you need it but it didn't happen that way because this happened and that's a major con in my book but an easy fix all i have to do is re-glue this with proper glue so take note chasing innovation you need to maybe do like a little bit of a strength test on the stuff after you before you send it to make sure nothing's going to pop off <laughs> and also um, these screws underneath the buoy were kind of loose and another user found that and so i made sure i went ahead and screwed all those tight before i went into the water with it and we can see that there's no water luckily in the buoy i'm just tilting it up like this and no residue no water no nothing so that's definitely working um, this is definitely sealed as long as you tighten the screws up and make sure everything's tight as far as the gladius goes let's talk about it so um kind of coinciding with the buoy is the range so for me here completely kind of out of wireless well there's a there's a few houses you know a couple hundred feet away there's a house here that's technically I guess that's about 75 to 100 feet so maybe that was slightly influencing the wireless signal but in this environment here um, I was only getting about 100 feet wireless to the buoy until it started to drop out so keep that in mind maybe I would have gotten a little better if I was completely in the boonies away from all houses but um, that's how it went for me so maybe they can improve on that connection the filter stayed on so that's great so hopefully it, it uh, gave you guys some better color accurate shots of the underwater and the fish and the coral and stuff that was pretty neat with the lights how I went into that cave and you're really gonna have to get super close in a cave in daylight like this to see anything so you kind of got to get it kind of under it in the cave i don't see any abrasion on the cable at all so this cable is definitely going to be really durable and um, abrasion resistant i don't see any problem and i was kind of tucked underneath that cave for a while as far as damage goes nothing i was banging into the coral a little bit i think mostly on the bottom and this seawater module worked perfect for here in hawaii it was just about just perfectly just sitting there um you know at like 15 20 feet when i was off the sticks and just a little bit of positive buoyancy just barely which i would like because if you disconnect instead of it sitting on the bottom and banging in the coral i would rather it slowly rise up so that was actually good um, besides that uh, the only other problem i could see is when you're trying to swim around in a little bit of chop like this and current you're going to feel that in the gladius because it's trying to fight this buoy especially with this rat's nest you probably heard me mention it like 50 times in my disappointment of the rat's nest um, buoy problem but you know if that wouldn't have happened this thing would have unraveled and i would have had that slack to make it a lot smoother so a few things they could work on you'll have seen the 4k footage so that's what the 4k was looking like at the 30 megabit setting i took a couple of the pictures we'll see how those pictures will have had those pop up on the screen for you and see how that is but so far pretty satisfied i'd like to see more range but you know definitely doable and i think this was right around a thousand so or a little less depending on which model you get this is the pro model that has the 64 gigs in here and the 100 meter te tether and the case that nice case over there and ken thanks for helping bud Good job. Um, Kian was a really asset to this mission, but anyway, that's the Gladius guys and my first thorough uh, underwater review. And I hope you enjoyed that. A couple things they can work on, but I think it'll get a lot better. And it's a definite, definite, very capable, submersible um, device here. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Right on, man. Did you see a couple of turtles? Yeah. Woo!
That was cool.